Should state police officers be prevented from enforcing federal gun laws? Our next guest says not only should it be prevented, it should be illegal. Texas State Representative Steve Toth joins us from Austin, Texas. He's proposed a new state law to make it a state crime to assist the federal government's efforts to ban assault weapons. Good morning, Representative. Good morning, Peter. How are you? Um, l let's talk about this hard right at the beginning. On its face, your law seems to violate the supremacy clause of the United States Constitution, which gives precedence to federal law over state law. Tell me why it doesn't, and tell me how you okay. intend to enforce this in the state of Texas. Sure. This is not a nullification bill. Um, as some has, had suggested, it would be like the Wyoming bill. We, we, we target a very specific portion of where the Obama administration's proposed legislation is infringing on our Second Amendment right, and it only deals with those two things. As, as an example, the size of a magazine and the type of weapon, we're very specific about it, and we're not going after federal officials. We're simply saying state officials within the state of Texas are not allowed to violate our Second Amendment as it pertains to these two things. We're very careful about that. Well, my understanding of it is that, and you tell me if I'm wrong, there have been some reports that under your law, that if a federal official from the ATF or the FBI sought to enforce federal firearms laws, that that federal official would be subject to arrest in the state of Texas. Is that true? And if it's true, is it constitutional? That is Wyoming's bill. That is not our bill. Okay. So we, we're, very, we're very specific when we drafted this bill with the Attorney General to make sure that it was not Wyoming's bill. Um, the way you eat an elephant is one bite at a time, and we're going to start first with state officials that are, are, are um, also dual... Uh, um, they're, they, a state official that acts as both a federal and state official. So, um, and these are people that are county, go ahead, county sheriffs. So hypothetically, sheriffs let's and, and talk so about on. this. Say the federal government, the Congress, and the president signs a bill banning assault weapons. You're saying straight out that if your bill passes your legislature and it's signed by the governor, law enforcement officials in the state of Texas could be charged with a crime themselves if they enforced Correct. those federal provisions. Has anything like that Correct. ever been tested constitutionally? No, not, not that we know of. And here's the problem, and here's why we did this. The very first day that Barack Obama started talking about infringing on our Second Amendments, my sheriff, Sheriff Tommy Gage, said that not only would he not enforce this federal law, but none of his deputies would enforce it either. And from that point on, dozens and dozens of county sheriffs from around the state of Texas said, we're not going to abide by this. And this, this sets up a problem because... If, if, in fact, this, this legislation does go through, they would be subject to prosecution by Eric Holder I've got in the Justice Department. Thank you, and Representative. So we had to protect them. Our time has run out, but I appreciate your, your provocative thoughts on this very interesting subject. Let us know what happens along the way. Thank you, Peter. Good to see you.